Yes, it's me. It's Anne. I'm back. And this is part of the collaboration. Big collaboration. We are using the Paulina palette and every thinking one of us is using the color Paulina and four random shades. Want to see how I did it? Follow me. Or was it this way? Either way, just we'll be there in a second. Hello. We're starting right after the intro. Yes, we are. At least I hope we are. I should have told you at that point what we're doing. And that part of picking the colors for the Paulina palette is going to is a randomizer. Now I have already done the randomizing and there should be a picture that pops up on one side or the other of the marked colors. I will bring them up as I use them, I hope. I know I don't normally talk about the colors and that kind of stuff quite so much but this one's special anyway let me get my base out here use my white base because I want some popping colors Poppin', poppin' colors. Now, this is the first time I've used this particular palette. So, I do not know how it's going to work, whether or not there's going to be a lot of fallout. I've seen, heard some people say that it's got fallout. I've heard some people say otherwise. My palette came to me by way of a present. Anya Stamper, also known as Pink Sweets, decided she wanted me to have the palette because she wanted me to be able to participate in this particular collabo nation. Project. And I am exceedingly grateful. Yet Anya and I have known each other for quite a while. And as in like, hung out in real life before I moved first to Florida from the D.C. area and then out here to Oregon. So, yeah, we've got a little bit of a special connect. Now, with the image, you should see that, let me bring that back up, what the randomizer picked is two, five, so down the center, seven and eight so I basically got an upside down T running right through the Paulina shade which is one that I must use regardless this is going to be fun because that is an interesting color arrangement yes Inter interesting is a word yeah, 
the Albergine Paulina Selma Thingaling and Siggy. That little dog is so cute. Anyway, yes, now when my Paulina palette got here, the purple was, yeah, a little cracked up. But, not so bad. I just did a repress and, you know, the alcohol trick. Let's see, where am I going to, I think, I think I'm going to start with the aubergine and see if I can do that relatively lightly as a starting point. We'll see how it, like I said, I haven't used this yet. I've done a couple of little swatchy things, but I haven't actually used it. Yes, I'm working actually in my crease, which I got in the habit of doing partially because I already know I've got to come up above it because I've got hooded eyes. I started off doing, you know, taking a flat brush and doing the line across and then working my way down from there into the crease. And I've got to a point now where I'm pretty good at knowing how high to bring it up to be able to still be seen, even if I start lower down. So we're going to start here with the albergine. Now I have absolutely no idea how this is going to look, what I'm doing with it, how it's going to work. We'll see as we go along. Now I'm going across the eye, but I'm not doing a lot of the windshield wiper stuff. I'm doing more of a swirl. Going in the same pattern kind of as a windshield wiper, but I'm doing a swirl with the brush instead of doing a whatcha, whatcha, whatcha. And that's because at next nearly 61, I've got a couple of weeks, I've got a lot of wrinkles in my eyelids. The skin has gotten loose as I have gotten older, which is pretty standard. I've also got... A lot of weight loss, which changes the eye texture, because you see, I had great big fat pads under here, and that's kind of sunk in now, and I had big fat pads up in here, which once they started reducing, yes, I'm still big. But once the fat pads started reducing, the hooded eyes got even more droopy. So, that's how that works. That actually looks pretty good. I'm not the biggest fan of purple only because my grandmother was so into purple. Everything in her bedroom was purple. The bedspreads, the walls, the window treatment, everything. The 
carpet. The woman lived in a purple box. I just... I kind of got worn out on purple. The only problem with that is, kind of like also with the pinks, because of my skin tone, purples and pinks look pretty good on me. Which, yeah, kind of causes me a few fratzes now and then. We'll all get over it. Anyway, I believe I'm going to use my color switch. Yes, I have a homemade color switch. It's a hair donut in a little magnetized bottom tin that sits on my little metal rolly cart that I use to hold all my junk. I'm going to pick up just a little tiny bit of the Paulina which is another one that's that's pretty intense. Yes, I'm looking in my mirror. My mirror is just below the camera. Now, some of you might be wondering why I would put the Paulina here, considering when I open my eyes, it's going to be hard to see. Don't worry, it'll be in another couple of places. I'm also going to take it up just a bit into the albergine that's just above it. Kind of mix them up a little bit. Yes, I do use the windshield wiper motion a little bit, even though the circular is better for avoiding the big tiger stripes. But sometimes you just feel the need. looking at the picture up here and going, am I copying that? I don't know. I could be. It, that picture on the palette has been kind of part of my thinking the whole time I've been working on figuring out what I might want to do. I mean, this is a really big collaboration. And I'm like, oh my goodness, how many people are actually in this again? Hopefully, we've got everybody on the group document that we've been using to track everybody's YouTube channel and... IG because some of some of the people participating in this are IG only and if I didn't mention it already all of the 
channels that are participating will be down in the description box. It's like, Anya told me about the, the, the collaboration, and I was like, oh, I don't have the Paulina palette. And she fixed it. For which I am ever so grateful, again. and will be for quite some time because this is a great palette. First Blush Tribe palette I've had ever. Okay, now I'm going into Salma and I'm going to darken up this outside corner. Now, Salma is a bit of a glitter, but I'm not going to wet the brush for this. Because what I'm looking for more with Salma right now is just darkening up that outside corner some. I'm getting a little bit of kick up in the pan on these, but in the Selma I was kind of expecting it because that's the one that got cracked in, in transport. It got here and it was all nicely cuddled up in its bubble wrap and everything. But when I went to open it, I saw a kind of an excess of purple dust. I got the sleeve off, you know, the unit carton sleeve off, and I saw more purple dust, and I'm going, ah. So I very gingerly set the palette on a flat surface and opened it ever so carefully because I was all excited when it got here and I was just gonna you know hold it up to show my husband and go looky 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 and I was just gonna flip the lid up this is better known as spotting the dust and dodging the bullet otherwise that purple would have been everywhere. It would have fallen right out of the pan. It would have gone everywhere. And I'd have been crying. pretty good. Let's try to get this a little more even so I don't have the problem I did the other day where one side was way dark and the other side was kind of puny. This is trying to keep up with my new setup and the lighting and the lighting bounce and the fact that I don't have my glasses on so I really don't see very clearly. I 
think I'm doing okay. Think. Think, think. Thinkity, think, think, think. Thinkity, think, think, think. Do, do, do. Okay. That's enough with the fiddling. Now, I'm going to get a different brush. And this time, with the fingling, which is that shimmery right here in the center. There, yes. That one right there. I'm going to use a little bit of my homemade setting spray to make that a little more stuck and shiny on the eyelid. get this one. who you are if you are wetting your brush do not spritz into the actual pigment pan just don't and in between dips into the pigment pan make sure your brush is dry the last thing you want to do is let fluids drop into that pan because yeah once maybe you can scrape the hard pan layer off that's going to happen when it gets wet if it keeps happening that fluid is going to soak all the way to the bottom of the pan and you're going to lose that whole shade Pick up the dry pigment with the brush, put it on the eye after you spritz it on the brush, and dry off your brush at, right after you spritz it too to protect the brush. The last thing you need is stuff running down into the ferrule that could loosen up the bristles just yeah no to dry off the brush all you need is you know a little washcloth just stick a little washcloth just put a little washcloth next to you I just use my fingers to dry off the ferrule. I mean, because, see, you got wet right there. You just don't want it running down and wrecking your bristles.
Oh yeah, that's coming out really, really pretty. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the fingling with the brush sort of dry. And I'm just going to kind of scoot it right along the edge of the brow line. No, I haven't done my brows yet. I have started doing my brows after because that way I know whether or not the brows are necessarily going to match with the look. If I'm doing something really intense, really intense, you know, like some of the glam stuff, I would do a heavier brow than I will probably with this. Now, I've got one color left, which is Siggy, which is the green, that I do believe is going to sneak itself under the lash line after I finish putting on the rest of the face. But that's where we are currently. About like that. Alrighty. From your point of view, I'll be right back. Just a click. From my point of view, it may take another minute or two. See you in a minute. Hello, I'm back. Hi. How's it looking? Yes, I ran the green under. I've also got a green pencil on the lower lash line. I put a purple liner on. I didn't want to actually take that much away from the, the rest of the colors that came from the palette. I've got a little bit of mascara on. That's an actually kind of a bougie mascara. I managed to win a giveaway, so I was using a Charlotte Tilbury mascara. Granny Makeup 65, Pamela, was doing a Charlotte Tilbury giveaway. And I won. Anyway, I've got this lovely little face palette and I used kind of a combination of the two blushes in the middle it's kind of washed out in the ring light um, and then there's the bronzer that I used and this kind of mildly peachy blush um, highlight that I've got going on here that I put just a little bit of in the corner of the eye. Got some going this way. Pick up just a little bit more. Put a little more there. A little bit there. I'm probably going to use a fairly neutral lip. The earring. Let's see, am I going to use a pink lip? No. I think I'm going to pick one of my relatively neutrals. Ear neutral. Hair neutral. This one is called Naked Blush by Flower. No, I didn't use a lip liner. I so seldom do that I don't even think about it even with something that's this nude. But, like with the eyeliner, I didn't want something that was so stark that it took away from the other colors. That's why I've got a green pencil 
over top of the green under the eyes. Anyway, remember, there are a lot of other films to go see. You have to go see the other films. You really do. Make sure you definitely go and see Kitty J's and Nikki Ravens and 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 Val from Give Me Lippin' More. Nikki Raven has been helping all kinds of ways with trying to get this this organized. She did all of our did the documents for our listings of, of everybody's stuff. Kitty J and Valerie came up with this bright idea. All of us using the Paulina palette. Every one of us using the Paulina color. Tell us what you think. If you've got a Paulina palette, if you can borrow one, do your own look. Tag some of us. We'll spread it around. We'd want to see what you did. Go watch the other films. Be good. Mm -hmm.